The National Party, the opposition, they are fired up this morning over the cost of living payment. Now, here are the details of what the government promised you. This is from their Instagram page. Cost of living payment for 2.1 million people. Well, yesterday the payment started and what did we end up with? Take a look at this. 1.3 million people were paid the cost of living payment on the first day. That is roughly 800,000 short. So, in the House yesterday, the National Party went on the attack over this and Nicola Willis from the National Party asked Calvin Davis, who was standing in for the Prime Minister, how much has been spent so far on this cost of living package? Take a look. How much taxpayer money has the government used to make cost of living payments to people living overseas? Uh, Mr Speaker, we're not quite sure. The fact of the matter is, at this stage... Uh, the fact of the, of the matter is there are 33 New Zealanders over there who don't like the cost of living payments. There are 1.3 million New Zealanders yesterday who received it and they're saying thank you very much to a uh, very considerate and caring government. National Leader Krista Pluxen is with us this morning. Good morning. Uh, caring and considerate government. Do you think that rings true? Oh, I mean, the whole thing is an utter, utter shambles and a total, total joke, Ryan. I mean, you literally can't make this stuff up. It's become the political version of the office, I think, to be honest. Uh, you know, this thing was made up on the fly in response to pressure from us and from the media. Uh, you've now got people getting it who shouldn't be getting it. You've got 800,000 people that are eligible that aren't getting it, and the government's got no clue about what's happening. It was advised not to do it by the IRD and the Treasury, and yet here we are. But the biggest problem with the whole thing is they just have total, utter disrespect for taxpayers' money. It's not the government's money, it's taxpayers' money, and they've paid, worked hard, paid their taxes, done the right thing, and you've got government just spraying it around like they don't care, untargeted, not targeted like the Prime Minister said. Investment bankers in London, backpackers in France, um, you know, it just doesn't make any sense. How so, many, you know, again, how many here we go again, just, how many a, just a joke. Yeah. How many investment bankers in London and how many backpackers in France? Well, what we've got is we're just all our MPs are just getting inundated with, you know, with emails from people overseas saying, I'm confused and embarrassed as to why I've got this thing. Uh, then they're told by David Parker to return the money, but go on the website and have a look, and it's pretty you know, damn difficult to actually get it back to people. Yeah. But, you know, they, they just don't know why they're getting it, what's going on. It's just, just an absolute being made up on the fly, and, and away we go again. So here's the thing. David Parker says this is going to take time. People need to file their returns, be assessed for their tax for the year before they can get the payment. So they just need a bit of time to, to get this done. But what's interesting, I think, is, <laughs> is uh, well, I mean, you know, you've got to, that's the line they're running. Claire Trevett from The Herald um, wrote this last night about the Labor Party, that they emailed their supporters yesterday saying that they had paid the first tranche, the $116, to the 2.1 million people who were eligible. Is that false advertising? Yeah, I, I saw that too, and I thought that was just so insensitive, right? I mean, you've launched a program that's just been a you know, rubbish implementation, utter joke, total shambles, and then you make a pitch to your members to raise some fundraising off the back of it. Uh, you know, and again, you know, they're saying proudly we've delivered it to 2.1 million people. Uh, please now chip in, and could you give us $10 or more to raise money for the Labor Party? I mean, I mean, it, it's, I, I just don't... You know, it honestly is Keystone Cops' time. You know, we really have a government that has lost the plot. And it's not just on this issue, it's on education, yeah. it's on health, it's on housing, it's on crime, it's now on the economy. You know, they literally cannot get anything done. We and have, I just... We have, you know, how do you spend more money, hire more people, get yeah. bad outcomes? And these we, guys, we here have, we go again. You we know, have some questions. Shame. We have some questions for the government. Unfortunately, the Minister, David Parker, um, was not available for an interview with us on the cost of living this morning. And the IRD, the um, agency that's tasked with doling out this payment, says we will not be putting anyone up for an interview on the cost of living. Do you think that's good enough? It's not good enough. This is taxpayers' money, and that's why we're saying, look, the Auditor-General now has to get involved and actually do an inquiry because, you know, that their role is to make sure that there's good value being spent from taxpayers' funds. Again, I just come back to the central point. The, this government is so disrespectful of taxpayers' money. They think it's their money. It's not. Someone's waking up this morning, watching your show, going to work, you're working hard, paying their taxes, and this is what happens for it. It just gets sprayed around all over the place. So, you know, the government it's got a front on it, but more importantly, you know, it's just another rubbish piece of implementation and execution right. from this government. How quickly they cannot get anything done. How quickly would your tax cuts have gotten people's pockets then? 
Well, it was a, it was using an established system. It was all we were saying is, look, inflation's up so 12 percent. Why don't we? And Grant. Grant Robertson's raised billions of dollars off the back of inflation. GST's gone up, income yeah, yeah, tax yeah. has gone but up. How quickly you could do it immediately. So, so would that happen immediately? You could do it, it immediately because you just lower the tax take, yeah, because the tax rate, and that comes out of people's wages at a at a lower rate. Yeah, and that's why we suggested this months ago because it's the cleanest mechanic to give people long term relief from the cost of living crisis. It uses the existing system, just pumps the rates up by All the right. amount of inflation, and people keep that money in their pocket. And you sure as hell don't want to give it to these guys to waste like they're wasting.